Hello everyone, assuming that you've already watched my video on how to set up a World of Warcraft private server and you've already got one set up, let's go ahead and show you how to change the World of Warcraft private server starting location. In order to do that, we have to have our server already running and just have the MySQL and the Heidi SQL open. We're going to go under the world database. We're going to find the player create info. When we go under here, we see a big block of code. This is all the information player creating function in World of Warcraft private server. Here you go. I think that class number nine is the Death Knight ones. And that's the one I'm trying to change. Because with this repack, the Death Knight starting zone quests are all broken. And you can't leave the Death Knight starting zone without being a GM. And sometimes I want players on my account or other people to join without giving them GM accounts. So the only way to fix this is to either A, manually teleport every player out whenever they make a Death Knight character, which is unrealistic, or B, we can change the starting location of the Death Knight. So now that we figured out where to change it, now we have to figure out the position that we want to set the location to. So in order to find that, we actually have to go to where we want to set that up. So let's open up our auth server and our world server. Wait for it all to load. All right, now that our server is empty or ready, sorry, let's let's log in and find the location that we want our Death Knights to start in. Do Exodar. So we've got a map column here and redo this here. Race sorted by race. I think that's what it was sorted by before. So we got a map column, a zone column, position X, position Y, position Z, and orientation. So if we go back to our WoW client, we've got we've got the map, which is one, we've got zone 16, the area 1229, phase one, and then we got the X position, the Y position, and the Z position, and the orientation. So those are all the numbers that we're going to be putting into that database. Okay, so we're in the game now with that slight disruption. It was my antivirus AVG was blocking my connection to the World of Warcraft server. So if you ever have any issues, always be sure to double check your antivirus. So I've kind of picked my spot of where I want my Death Knights to spawn. And it's here in Ajara. My other choice was going to be either Felwood or Duskwood, but I just picked Ajara. So let's go ahead and type in .gps. .gps now shows us the ID and the orientation of exactly where we're located. So we're going to take this number and plug it into our database. So for this, I'm going to go to video and check windowed mode so I can have this open at the same time as my World of Warcraft server database. Okay, so when I hit windowed mode, it now broke my game. So we're going to have to do a little workaround here. We're going to go into the config file, which is, I mean, I'm looking for set GX window. Do we have set GX maximize? What if I just plug it in there? Does that work? No, nope, still doesn't work. Okay, go to the WTF folder. Oh, you know what? I'm in the wrong config folder. Let me exit that, hit save. What if I delete all of this? What if I delete the WTF folder? There you go. Let me fix the resolution now because it looks like potato effects. Let's put everything on ultra. All right, that's better. Okay, so I guess we're not going to do windowed mode. Instead, I'm just going to take a picture of this on my phone and we can go from there. So go back to the database and I actually found the class ID guide. So I'm going to stick this in the description of the video below and I'm going to stick this one also in the description. So here's the race IDs and here's the class IDs. And I thought 9 was going to be Death Knight, but actually 6 is Death Knight. And then when I looked at this again, I noticed that at the bottom, we have every single race down here in sequence, all with the 6 and all with the same starting location in the same zone and everything. So, so the map ID of all of these is going to be 1. And I'm going to leave the last one as default just for reference in case we mess this up. And then we can revert the changes if we mess it up and if it doesn't work. So the zone, we're going to put 16. And in the position X, I'm going to write it off my phone. It was 4205.11328. Huh. Doesn't, the whole number doesn't go in. So I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. You know what? Let's just try this. Let's try the Y position. The Y is going to be, looks like we got a minus in here. 7829.370605. Same thing, it looks like it abbreviates it. So let's just plug these in. It might not work. And then the Z position is going to be 12.569468. And my orientation is 0 0.445550. So now with these all set up, except for the last one, what race is 11? So we make sure that we didn't make that. That's a Draenei. Okay, so we can make anything except for the Draenei. Let's restart the server to make this change. 
Let's go ahead and create a Gnome Death Knight. Randomize Rixie, that's fine. And we enter the world, let's see what happens. And we win! So, that's how you update where your character is going to start based on his class or the race. Then we can go into the World of Warcraft database. Go to Database, Quests, Classes, Death Knight. We'll pick in the service of the Lich King, and we grab this quest giver, we grab this instructor, and we'll grab the NPC ID, and find a suitable area to start your starting quest. I'm going to do GM fly on, and let's say the Lich King took over this small little temple over here. So first thing I'm going to do is clear this guys out. I'm going to make a macro for this because this will take a while. Uh, new, delete, NPC, delete, then I'm going to hotkey this number one. I may have just ruined the quest, who cares? The, the Lich King is going to sit right here. I'm going to go back and grab the NPC ID and go dot NPC add. And there's the Lich King. Next we're going to add in this instructor guy. We'll stick him right over here. Next we're going to need a couple items such as the Rune Forge is going to be the first one. We'll do gob add 190557. Nope, going to be gob add one nine one. 746. There you go. Here's our rune forge. Then we're gonna have to add in that little sword. So gob add 65954. No. Gob add 190584. Okay, cool. So here's our sword. So now if we go and pick up this quest, we could talk to the instructor, pick up his quest, grab the sword. Maybe I got the wrong item ID, and it doesn't work, so you know what, just go and learn enchanting and get good at that. So I hope you found some value in what I had to say today, and I'd like to thank you for watching.